Hi, and welcome to a screencast about iTerm, a replacement for Terminal.app. I'm Matthew McCullough, and I'm going to show you why this is a more effective replacement for developers on Mac OS X. iTerm is available at iTerm.SourceForge.net. Click on the download link, grab the latest version, throw it into your applications directory. I've got a fresh copy installed right here, iTerm.app, and I'm going to launch that. Check for updates, yes, look at the current developers on it, okay. Here's the main interface. Not all that fancy, not all that special, looks a lot like Terminal.app. So let's start customizing this to be a little more productive for developers. I'm going to go up to the iTerm menu, then to Preferences. Over on the tab, I'm going to turn off Use Compact Labels, and turn off Hide Tab when there's only one session. That expands to show the number, the tab number, with each tab. I'm also going to set the look to Unified, which I think looks a lot more like the regular Mac interface. That's the first part of the customization. Second, we're going to make advanced use of bookmarks. I'm going to manage bookmarks, also Command Shift B, and I'm going to add a new folder for code. I'd like to open in a lot of default locations for code. I've got ambient code, I've got scratch code, open source code, and client code. And I like to color code and start in each of those locations with one simple keystroke. Now, if you're looking at iTerm and you're new to it, you'll notice that the command for the default window is login FP with my username after that. And you'd be inclined to add a new bookmark with exactly the same pattern. However, there's a quick trick that uh, took a lot of research to find as far as using that or using something else. So I'm going to set this as ambient. And here's where you'd be tempted to use the login FP. But what we're going to do instead is bash dash L. And the work what this does is enables us to set a working directory and in this case documents code ambient ideas if you use the login dash fp the working directory won't be honored it's only honored when you use bash dash l so i'm going to set a shortcut key of this to a click ok command control a will now open me a tab exactly in that location awesome now, you might want to also separate the color backgrounds between the default and ambient or other locations that you set up. So to set the background color to be dif different when you open ambient, you go up to, again, the bookmarks menu, manage profiles, and down to display profiles. I'm going to add a new one, and I'm going to call it red. I typically color all my ambient ideas things red. I'm going to set the foreground to white, that's the foreground text. I'm going to set the background to an extremely deep red. There we go. I'm also going to set about 20% transparency and turn on blur. Close that preference, bookmarks, back to the manage bookmarks, expand the code entry, highlight ambient, click the pencil to edit, and change the display to red, the new color profile that we set up. If I open another ambient tab, there you go, the preferences are set. Background color red, foreground color white, and this is Matthew McCullough saying you can find the future entries of this podcast and blog and screencast on developer tips at http slash slash ambientideas.com forward slash blog. I hope this makes you more productive in the iTerm application, and we'll see you again soon.